Happy Saturday everyone, you know what that means, it's time for a brand new episode of Spy Family, this being episode number 5, and it always picks up where things ended off in the last episode. Of course, last episode, it was dealing with the Forgers going to this interview at Eden College to get Anya into Eden College. And we do find out at the start of this episode, Anya is not on the board to get in. She did not get accepted, which throws everything up in the air temporarily. But then we find out from the master of the school, I believe his name's Henry, the older guy from last episode. He actually comes and tells the Forgers that Anya's right at the top of the waiting list, so if anyone drops out, she's right in there. And lo and behold, as you would expect, the very next scene, the Forgers get a call letting them know that Anya's got in, someone's dropped out, and therefore it calls for a celebration involving food and drinks, thanks to Frankie, who is like the sidekick almost of Lloyd. One of the funniest things about this episode is that Yor is drunk for the entire episode. You even get an action sequence with her later on, which we'll talk about uh, pretty soon when we get to that point. But the celebrations do not just stop at food and drink, and that brings us on to what this episode is really about. In celebration of Anya getting into the school, she wants to go to the castle where her favourite show, Bondman, was filmed, and almost reenact a Bondman saves princess situation from one of the episodes. And as you would expect eventually, Lloyd does reluctantly agree to this. And thus the remainder of the episode plays out like a hero saving the princess from a villain, complete with servants and enemies, which are played by other agents, and there's a hell of a lot of them. I gotta say that this episode in particular really nails down the spy aspects of this series. It's really just got that classic, cheesy Bond movie feel. The soundtrack, of course, is very spy-inspired, but I think the plot of this episode in particular really takes that up to another level. It's very self-aware of what it's trying to be, and for that reason, this episode really worked. And it seems to set itself apart from the main story. There's still elements of that there. Of course, with the agents coming in, they think they're there to really help push forward Operation Strix, which has been hyped up, uh, at least within the agency, as one of the most important operations to ever happen in the history of the world. So everyone's not only so excited to be there to help out with this mission, but they're also excited to see Twilight or Lloyd Forger in action because he is believed to be one of the greatest spies of all time. And not gonna lie, Lloyd absolutely lives up to that name in this episode. Despite the fact that it is, you know, trying to be something that's a bit more low-key and fun, you get some awesome action sequences in here where Lloyd's like dodging everything, he's going up against like tons of agents, obviously very well-trained people. But when push comes to shove and you get towards the end of this little adventure that they go on throughout this castle, Lloyd comes up against Yor. I don't know exactly why Yor was fighting him. She makes out as if he's trying to harm Anya, which is very evidently not true, even within the constraints of like this fantasy scenario. But even while drunk, Yor is such an incredible fighter. It is insane the way she is just moving around and attacking Lloyd head on, it's kind of crazy, like this is one of the best spies within this world and you have Yor who is probably one of the best assassins within this world going up against one another. It's not like in a very serious and violent scenario, but I assume that later on that's probably going to come into play. But I think what I love most about this scene in particular is that it ends by Yor snapping one of her heels, falling on the floor and then falling asleep. It just feels like a very classic thing to do when someone's drunk. But you know what, for comedic purposes, it worked so incredibly well. But once again, the absolute star of the episode is Anya. She steals the show every time she's on screen. And the voice actress, I've said it in every episode, she is so good. The comedic timing, the line delivery, especially when Anya's like going with this villain and she's saying, oh no, save me, Bond man, or in this case, called Lloyd man or something. She says it in such a monotone and unenthusiastic way that comes across in the funniest way possible. From an emotional standpoint, it's not the best episode so far by any means, even in terms of action and stuff, it's still not the best episode, but it's a fun getaway from the main story, it's something that nicely stands on its own, and once again, it's another episode that really represents why I've loved this series so far. But those are my thoughts on episode 5 of Spy Family, I'd love to hear your thoughts as well, so head on down to the comment section below, let me know what you did think of this episode, what was your favourite moment in it? I gotta say that my absolute favourite moment throughout this episode is concerning the questionnaire. The third question in particular about what is Anya thinking right now, and she says, I'm actually just thinking about drinking water. That is delivered in the most hilarious way possible, and it's probably the funniest moment from the show, at least for me. 
I'd really appreciate it if you could leave a like on this video. Also subscribe if you're a fan of anime and Japanese gaming, particularly if you like Spy Family. I cover it every week on the channel, so stay tuned because we're going to be continuing to cover it right until the end of this first car. And then when we go to the second car in the fall season, I'm going to be back to cover it some more. But as always, thank you so much for tuning into MChat today, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.